always such a good time. It was good. I, I don't want to seem biased, so I'm just going to go right. on Facebook, Courtney, yeah. and vote. But I sampled and I taste some very, very good burgers. One in particular was right. really good. Yes. And now we got to go to Perry and do, bur do yes. restaurant week. We yeah. definitely do. It's just a couple weeks full of eating around central Georgia, which oh, you know shucks. we're never opposed to. So <laughs> Never. <laughs> never a bad idea. And of course, you're supporting local business too. So it's, you know, a two for one. We love to see it. All right, everybody. Well, uh, if you don't like the cold, you don't love to see the temperatures this morning. It's very cold out there. Be sure all you students getting ready to head out to that bus stop. It is cold. Temperatures, in fact, are in the mid 30s for a lot of us. So not only are you going to need the light jacket, it, you're going to need the coat this morning. Good news is, unlike this weekend, it is not windy this morning. The wind really made a difference this weekend. It made it a little bit miserable for the mornings. That's not the case for the start of the day today, but we will see a lot of sunshine. So by the time all you students get back on the bus to head home today, temperatures will be in the low 70s. There'll be a lot of sun. It's going to be a wonderful day. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Hopefully you all enjoyed that extra hour of sleep we got over the weekend, and hopefully you are feeling nice and rested as we start this new week. 41 right now in the city of Perry. Don't worry, though, if you're feeling tired this morning, just step out the door. It'll wake you right up all that cold. We're looking live, of course, on top of the fairgrounds and Agri Center. Area wide, for the most part, we're in the 30s. Perry's one of the warmer spots this morning. We're at 36 in Macon. 38 in Warner Robins, 35 in Gordon, 39 in Forsyth, 41 in Montezuma, and 34 in Wrightsville and in Dublin. Very cold morning. Now, as we go through the day today, it's going to be beautiful. Temperatures will be in the low 70s, will gradually warm through the morning. Of course, the sun is rising early this morning, so temperatures will warm pretty nicely as we go through the day. We're still going to be in the 50s, though, through around 10 o'clock, so you're going to need to keep that jacket with you. You'll be able to kind of shed layers off through the day today. Lots of sunshine. That's thanks to high pressure and control. That's that sinking air. That's also going to give us that nice and warm day, at least for fall. We're going to be just near average. But as we go towards the end of the week, here comes our next weather system. It's already building out to the west, bringing snow to parts of Colorado. And for us, it's going to bring us some cool air and also a chance for rain. And that will be on Thursday and Friday. So just in time for the end of the week. Hopefully we can get the rain out of here this time, just in time for all the Friday night football games. I know last week they were a little bit rainy and cold and dreary for some of us. So starting Thursday, that's when we're going to look for a rain chance. Notice the Euro and blue here, obviously giving us a more widespread coverage of rain for the afternoon. Here comes the front as we head into Thursday evening, pushing across states like Mississippi, Alabama into northwest Georgia, and then through the overnight. Here's Friday at midnight. That's when the front is going to start to push through. Now notice the Euro pushes through as we head into Friday morning. The GFS trails behind that's going to impact our temperatures a little bit and of course impact how much rain we're going to see throughout the day. The GFS thinks we'll have another bubbling up of showers as we head into Friday. Right now it doesn't look like we'll have much in the ways of thunderstorm activity. We don't really have any instability for that. So severe weather wise doesn't look like we're looking towards that. We'll have another piece of a front that's weakening push through on Monday and that's just going to reinforce that cold air behind the front. We are are going to wake up. Get a look at this in the 30s again as we head through the weekend. So enjoy these cool mornings and nice and beautiful warm afternoons through Wednesday. Rain returns Thursday and Friday along that front. We'll wake up in the 40s Saturday and the 30s on Sunday with highs in the 50s and 60s through the weekend.